Hi, this is Go Code, and today we will see this problem named longest valid parenthesis. So, in this problem, we are given a string made of characters opening round bracket and closing round bracket only, and we need to return the length of the longest valid parenthesis substring. So, brute force solution for this problem will be like for every substring of the string, check if it is valid parenthesis or not and keep the maximum length of valid parenthesis so far but time complexity of this solution will be o n cube this problem can be solved in o n time complexity i recommend to pause the video here and think little bit how we can solve this in o n time complexity so let's see how we can solve this by taking a sample string let's say we are given this string we can say that our longest valid parenthesis which we want to figure out is surely ending at some index i in string str. So if we somehow calculate the below array name longest where longest i denotes the length of the longest valid parenthesis ending at index i then our answer will be simply the maximum of this array named longest so let's see how we can calculate this array and while calculating we will build the general formula to get the longest i also let's calculate so firstly what will be the value of longest zero the value for this surely will be zero because no single bracket is a valid parenthesis so the value of the longest zero will be 0. Now let's calculate longest 1. Here we can see that we have a opening bracket at str1 and since no valid parenthesis will end with the opening bracket so answer for this also will be 0. Now we will calculate longest 2. Here at second position we have a closing bracket now at this point we can have a two possibility first the previous character can be the closing bracket or the opening bracket since here we have a closing bracket so if the previous character is a closing bracket now let's now think a little bit if we have a closing bracket at str i minus 1 and opening bracket at str i then what will be our answer for longest i if you observe a little bit you will figure out that in that case longest i will be equals to the longest i minus 2 plus 2 because we have a length of longest valid parenthesis ending at index i minus 2 and since concatenation of str i minus 1 and str i is also valid parenthesis we can use this formula so here since str 2 has a closing bracket and str 1 which is i minus 1 has a opening bracket so we can use this formula by using this formula longest 2 will be the longest i minus 2 which is 0 basically 0 plus 2 which will be 2 so the longest 2 is the 2 now what will be the longest 3 since str3 has a opening bracket and no valid parenthesis and with the opening bracket so the answer for the longest 3 will be 0 and by seeing this we can also write this now let's calculate longest 4 again we will have a opening bracket in str4 so longest 4 will also be 0 now longest 5 here str5 has a opening bracket and str4 has a closing bracket so this formula would suffice then our longest 5 will be the longest 3 plus 2 basically longest 3 is 0 plus 2 which is will be the calculate longest 6 
here str6 has a closing bracket and now str5 has a closing bracket not a opening bracket for this case we haven't reduced the formula for this so let's reduce the formula for this so if you observe a little bit if we have str i minus 1 has a closing bracket and str i minus 1 is also has a closing bracket then we will check if str i minus longest i minus 1 minus 1 has a closing bracket or not if str i minus longest i minus 1 minus 1 has a closing bracket then our longest i will be the longest i minus 1 plus 2 plus longest i minus longest i minus 1 minus 2 basically this so for longest 6 we will check if str i minus longest i minus 1 minus 1 which is 6 minus longest i minus 1 which is 2 4 6 minus 2 4 minus 1 3 basically str 3 has a opening bracket or not str 3 has a opening bracket it means we can use this formula so our longest 6 will be the longest i minus 1 basically 2 plus 2 4 and this value this value is 2 so basically this basically longest 6 will be the 6 now longest 7 now what will the what will be the value of longest 7 since str7 has a opening bracket so if we have a opening bracket on stri then the longest i will be 0 now longest 8 since str8 has a closing bracket and str7 has a opening bracket this condition holds true which is longest i is equals to longest i minus 2 plus 2 which is 6 plus 2 8 and at the end our answer will be the maximum of this array which we can see is the 8 so our answer will be 8 you can see that this is our longest valid parenthesis whose length is 8 now let's go to the implementation part Thank you so much for watching.